Hello! Um, I want to share a message that I um, listened to in a video that I watched um, like an hour ago and this message is not my own to give, it's not mine to get credit for. Um, it's from a YouTube channel called Devotions with Demarcus and his video if you want to look it up. I really encourage you to because it was a really wonderful, joyful, encouraging video. Um, um, it was, the title was God Wants You to Get Your Joy Back and it's by Devotions with Demarcus and again it's called God Wants You to Get Your Joy Back. He's wearing like a blue and green shirt in it. He's in a car. I really encourage you to go look that up once you're finished watching this video, or now if you want, but very much encourage you to watch that video. But I'm going to just share what he spoke about in that video because it's too good to not talk about. Um, he talked about joy, and his message was just that, like, which my favorite, my favorite Bible verse, I felt really called to watch this video, and I'm excited to share it. Anyways, talked about joy. And he said, the joy of the Lord is our strength, which is Nehemiah 8, verse 10. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And he says, joy is internal. Happiness is external. Meaning, he talked about this phrase called happy stance, which is happiness based off of circumstances. He said, if an external circumstance of a situation happens, then you're happy. Like when someone is giving away ice cream, like an ice cream truck comes by, you're like, oh my goodness, ice cream, I'm so happy about this. Um, that's external. You know, you're just happy about that. Like you're, you're, you're bubbly, you're like, oh, that's exciting. Um, and many people focus on happiness. Um, many people do. Happiness is a feeling. Happiness is um, merely based off of circumstances, like he said. Like, if I'm seeing my friends from not seeing them for a while, I'm so happy and excited to see them. But if I see them and then in that moment they're a little bit rude to me, I'm immediately unhappy. I'm not happy anymore, and I'm 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 sad and I'm I'm angry and confused, and my happiness has vanished because that external circumstance really put me down. So that's why he says find joy in the small things you know there's there's so much joy around us and we can find joy in so many beautiful things obviously in the lord in god that's where my joy and your joy should be rooted in and is rooted in um but there's just so many joyful things in life like he talked about making people laugh and blessing your pe people in your life around you whether it's financially or just with good company and just blessing them and um, something I love to do is people watch. If I'm in a public place, I just love to look around and look at other people, their conversations and their, you know, way of looking or living and just finding joy within other people's joy. I think that's something I like to do. Um, just observing people and their characteristics makes me joyful and just it's so cool how god made everyone so differently but find joy in the in the small things in life and he said but joy is internal because of who he is because of who god is because of what he's done and because he lives in me that's what he said he said joy is internal because of who god is because of what god's done because he lives in me because he lives in you I am made in his image, so you gotta start your day from the inside out. Yeah, pretty cool, I know. We're made in God's image, so we have to start our day from the inside, inner joy. Because this world is full of yuck. This world is full of deceit and lies and malice and sin, which is why we have to start our day internally. You know, within our spirit, within our, our, um, our assurance in God. Um, yeah, within our assurance in God and our joy that's in our spirit, that's from the Lord. We have to start our day with that beaming out of God and um, who he's made us to be. He says, don't fall for what the world says. You need this or that. 
to make you happy. You know, it's a trap and a dead end street. Don't fall for it. That's what he says. True happiness comes from Jesus. And that is eternal joy. Internal and eternal joy. Um, if we start our day externally, we're going to be thinking of everything around us and observing our mood off of our circumstances, off of other people's moods. Um, whereas if you just are joyful because God's giving you joy and you're using that joy as your strength and just living internally and starting our day internally and beaming a light for God, it makes everything so much better because it doesn't really matter what anyone else is thinking or how they're feeling. Obviously, have compassion for them, but you don't have to give up your joy and dim your light because of other people. Because our joy is internal. You know, it's found in God and Christ internally in our spirit. And we just gotta show that joy to the external. You know, it starts from the internal, but you can show it to the external. And you can be a light for other people. God wants you to get your joy back. So accept the joy the Lord is freely yearning to give to you. Accept it. Don't have to feel guilty to accept joy. I don't know if that's something you need to hear, but it's something I've needed to hear for a while. You don't have to feel guilty to accept joy. If someone else in your life is going through something, you do not have to feel guilty to be joyful. It's okay. You have a relationship with God. You're surrounded by people who love God. You're going to feel joyful because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is contagious. Being a light for God, other people are going to see your light and they're going to be like, whoa, I want that. And it's Jesus. And focus on God. Being joyful is an internal thing. It's an internal, everyday choice. Um, not based on circumstances, but just literally you just have joy. Because God's love and is just like beating through you and it's incredible. And if you don't have that joy yet, I encourage you to pray for it, ask God for it, and I know he'll give it to you. Um, yeah, I do think it's a choice every day. I ask God to give me joy every day and he does. And it's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy and joyful, but it's my happiness is not based on what's around me, my surroundings. It's based in God and his love and just the, the amounts of positivity and happiness and just love and beaming light he's given me oh it's been just incredibly overwhelming and beautiful and exciting um but yeah the joy of the lord is our strength so please just abide in god and and ask god to give you joy Remember, joy is internal. It's a beautiful internal thing between a relationship with you and God. He just gives you so much joy. So I just encourage you to find your worth and truth and love in God. Not this world. Don't look for your happiness and circumstances, amount of money, job opportunities, people, relationships, a number on the scale. It's not found in that because everything wavers in this world. Nothing is eternal. Everything's fleeting. That relationship could fail. You could gain a pound or lose a pound. You know, that job cannot be what you expected it to be or it cannot work out or it could lead you to a bad um, life experience, you know? Like, your finances could fail. You're, you could get too much money and then go bankrupt because you got too cocky. I don't know. Um, happiness is fleeting. This world is fleeting. But God's love for you is not. And he will give you internal joy and guide you through life. And I just encourage you, please, to just ask God for that joy. Abide in it. Embrace it. Immerse yourself in it. It's internal, not external. And hold on to that joy. God wants you to get your joy back. Thank you for watching. This, this is all from Devotions with DeMarcus. The title is God Wants You to Get Your Joy Back. It's a beautiful message. He's such a light. I can even see it already. He's just such a light for God. He does what I do. He posts online every day and I encourage you to look at his channel. Um, but yeah, please hold on to that joy. Hold it on. Hold on to it with all of your might. If you don't have the might for it, God will give it to you. His strength. He loves you so much. Embrace your joy. It's okay. I love you. Have a wonderful day.